everybody it's finally here i've done a bunch of videos on what we thought the 2025 lincoln navigator was going to look like they finally released this thing like an hour ago and to no surprise we kind of knew some of what was going to be but let's get into the details and kind of look over some of the things there's one thing that really surprised me on this that i could go either way but i'm kind of surprised they missed this anyhow let's do this this is it the all new 2025 lincoln navigator if you've watched any of my other videos on the 2024 Lincoln Nautilus, you'll know I'm a fan of the panoramic interior and some of the technology. It's cool. And the refresh of the exterior, I think it was a home run on the Nautilus. Well, I think you're going to be happy with what you see. The all new Navigator. Look at this beast of a panoramic display. I'd say size wise, it looks very similar in size to the Nautilus. And you can see a lot of the theming that carries over. The steering wheel controls look the same. It's awesome. They carried even the same lighting across the front end. You can see the LEDs. Um, I want to kind of show you some of the interior things that I thought was pretty neat. Um, so <clears throat> some takeaways. It looks like the seat structure looks identical to the 2018 to 2024. When I say structure, I'm talking to framing. If you look at this composite structure, but you can tell the padding is totally new. It looks super premium. There's the interior, looks awesome. Exterior, beautiful. I see that they're offering it now with 24 inch wheels. Um, they're, they're carrying the theme of, I think they call it like rejuvenate. I need, I, I need to confirm. They offer a jet appearance package. This is so super sweet. You get the black grill, black rims, kind of like the black label-esque badging on the side. I really dig that. I think people are going to really like this. It's more of a sportier look than the old school looking navigator. I dig that. Um, exterior, they did something here that I just think is sweet. So initially when I saw the back end of the new navigator, I was kind of like a little bit torn on this area here. But once you see why they designed it that way, I think you're going to like it. They went with the split gate tailgate. And this is the kind of stuff that I think is cool. If you go back to Lincoln the past 50 to 80 years, they do a lot of this neat stuff where they're trying to bring new technology to, to, to markets like this. And here's what I mean. Split gate technology is not new. Land Rover and Range Rover has been doing this for quite a while. But the domestics have not done this. So this is kind of kind of new. So there's the back end of the new Lincoln Navigator. And I want to get you some better pictures so you can kind of see this. But Blue Cruise, no surprise. Um, this works great. I've, I've, I've driven the new uh, Nautilus and it's it works really great. And what I'm going to be curious is, okay, so you see they're hitting a turn signal. I'm curious if it hits the turn signal and passes automatically or if the driver has to initiate the turn signal for the vehicle to actually switch lanes. Regardless, it works really good. Okay, in lane repositioning. Okay, pretty cool technology. I'm sure uh, Lincoln Blue Cruise, there we go. Longer periods of hand-free driving, beautiful. Um, and then this is some of the other stuff I like. So you can get a black label now, not just your traditional black label. I've got a traditional black label navigator today, but I've wanted something a little sportier theme. Well, they got it now with this special edition package. That looks sweet. Absolutely awesome. And then they got the standard reserve package with the jet appearance. That's awesome. As well as your standard reserve. So you basically have reserve and black label. They kind of got rid of uh, two packages, but it'll now include this jet package, which is great. Let's just go right into the launch video Lincoln just did. object is drawn to another we call that gravity there we go there's your huge panoramic displays so you got your two right up by your dash my guess is they're going to get they're going to get rid of heads up display there's really no point when you've got this full display steering wheel looks identical to the nautilus uh, you can see the big center stack display here as well and when we're drawn to a presence This is super cool. So this second row power tailored seat, it looks like they're trying to add the comfort and all the different 30 way adjustment they had in the first row. They're going to add that to the second row. Is it necessary? Of course not, but this is a navigator and they're going to take it to another level. So that's super cool. Power running boards. Get a little. Well, that's something else entirely. Trans controls. Okay. So you can see they moved it from up on the dash down below. 
Um, very similar theme, once again, as the Nautilus. I don't mind it where it was before, and this is just gonna be a nice uh, feature. It looks a little more upscale and more modern. There's your first look. Looks sweet. All right, now check this out. This is where I think this is super cool. We'll be curious to see how the reliability is of this down the road, because I've got friends actually with Range Rovers with, that struggle a little bit with this being a reliable feature, but man, does it look cool. That's something that reimagines your experience through innovation. So the split gate, let's just show that again. That's something that reimagines your experience through innovation. That appeals to your sense. Okay, cool. They're doing this sensory experience with the Lincoln Rejuvenate, and this allows different fragrance and senses and stuff that is built into the car. Pretty neat. I mean, some people might not appreciate it, but I think a lot of the people looking for navigators wow. might. The sanctuary. Look at that. So cool. Where the details are. 48 inch panoramic display. Insane. Just awesome. Awfully crafted with you in mind. There you go. So this is where it has this new digital sense and all sorts of different. They're really focusing on the sensory and trying to get you in a certain zen or energy or whatever you're feeling. And I will be curious if people appreciate this, but it looks like they put a lot into this. Want to catch that real quick so, uh, standard first and available second row wireless charging okay nothing crazy there it looks like the center console is a little bit different uh, shape you can kind of see how they've got the cup holders in a little different location a little more stuff here not huge change i mean the buttons are a little bit laid out differently but driven by discovery probably drive modes there Okay, this is the part that shocked me, I'm not gonna lie. I'm wondering if uh, Lincoln has some tricks up their sleeve, but 440 horsepower, 510 foot-pounds of torque, that tells me the powertrain is the same. It's still the 3.5 liter EcoBoost that has been because the power numbers don't look to have changed. So I'm wondering if maybe they're kind of gonna launch a, a hybrid solution later on down the road, I'm not really sure. Uh, maybe they just want to kind of get the the launch of this vehicle first and then move the powertrain But regardless, I mean keep it simple I mean the the current motor makes a lot of power and, and is fairly efficient for how big the vehicle is I know we've been happy with ours Some people call that special something an energy Others say it's beauty We call it The all-new 2025 Lincoln Navigator A force of attraction at your fingertips. So just some thoughts of mine. Uh, at first, I wasn't really sure what I thought about this back end, but I can see they're, they're following the trend from the Nautilus and I'm sure the Aviator, it all kind of started with the Aviator and they're kind of carrying that trend through the Nautilus and now the uh, Navigator. But the fact that why they kind of did that for the split tailgate makes a lot more sense to me. I'm hoping to get more information specifically around suspension, any other changes around that. It looks like the platform is probably pretty similar. Um, I wanted to show you guys some things. I was excited to show this, but it didn't show a lot of information. So I went on fueleconomy.gov and just wanted to compare some fuel economy. And I, I talk a lot about fuel economy on my channel just to show the reasons why you go with a hybrid powertrain. So currently for 2024, Ford offers the F-150, which shares a lot of the same powertrain components as the Lincoln uh, uh, Navigator. If you go with a standard F-150 versus the Power Boost F-150, which is their hybrid, look at the difference in fuel economy. Your city fuel economy jumps from 16 to 22. Highway actually stays the same. Believe it or not, most of the time your hybrids don't pick up fuel economy on the highway. It's very neutral. It's the big gain is, is in the city driving. And as you can see, the city, the city goes up eight miles per gallon or six miles per gallon and your overall jumps up four miles per gallon. 
I was super excited to see if there was going to be a hybrid option because I was trying to figure out, okay, here's your 2024 Navigator available today, and it's 18, or sorry, yeah, it's 16 and 22, and I'm thinking, man, if we see the same six mile per gallon jump, this could be 22 in the city, 22 highway, and it could be a 22 mile per gallon full size SUV, which is incredible. Uh, not a big deal, but I do want to show you something. Don't you find it interesting? Look at this photo on fueleconomy.gov. Uh, it's kind of funny that it looks like to me, that almost looks like a Navigator picture that's been uploaded from Lincoln uh, for the 2024. And you cannot, at the time of this video, you could not add, I'm going to make sure, don't catch myself wrong, Lincoln, you cannot. You cannot select at the time of this video to show what the fuel economy would be for the 2025 Lincoln Navigator. But regardless, this thing is sweet. I think people are going to really like this. I mean, these upgrades, people that are Navigator owners and been liking them for the last six years, I mean, man, it's taking a great vehicle and just modernizing it and just really bringing it up to, to speed to kind of compete with the uh, Escalades and um, the Lexus LXs. This is a sweet ride and it's premium. I didn't see anything on pricing yet, but as more information comes out on this thing, I'm gonna be for sure uh, making videos. I'm very familiar now with this Lincoln Digital Experience Panoramics from the Nautilus and all the reviews I've done. So I wanna to try to get you guys some of the best and earliest content out there on this vehicle. Anyhow, I hope you find this video helpful. Uh, this is exciting for you uh, full-size SUV owners that we now have the updated Navigator and this thing is really sweet. Here, I just want to show you one last thing. Here's the appearance package. This is the reserve. So the reserve's more like, I'm not going to call it an entry level, more like a mid-level. So you got reserve, standard reserve, then you got jet appearance, and then you've got Lincoln Black label, which kind of jumps up. And then you've got the different themes for each one, which is cool. So you've got, you've got your atmospheric, you've got your enlighten, and then you've got invitation. And these all give you different uh, coloring for the interior. I really dig this one. And then obviously with your reserve, You've got some different tri uh, inside as well. You've got hot chocolate, uh, black onyx, and then you've got medium spice or space gray. So very cool. I'm curious if more information comes out about additional powertrains. Lastly, tow rating looks to be the same as the last Navigator. So that would tell me that the powertrain hasn't changed that much. So it will be interesting to see the price point on this and uh and see what more information comes anyhow thanks for watching